looks to stay alive. That late season slide for St. Louis? Well, forget it. It's ancient history to the Cardinals now. This series has become a showcase of pitching and pool holes. This is what he does, who he is. One of the game's elite, who in the postseason proves that point over and over again. The Padres, meanwhile, shriveled in the San Diego sun. Home field advantage gone. Confidence shaken. Either they find their bats or get swept. The same fate they suffered at the hands of St. Louis last year. The Cardinals are hoping to wrap it up with a two games to nothing lead over the San Diego Padres. I feel very comfortable saying that Albert Pujols is the best, most productive hitter in the game. And he has shown that here in the playoffs. And here's what you have to look at. The Cardinals have been lucky in a way, John, because they have not been in a situation where they could just put Pujols on base. And he bluffs the butt, takes a called strike, and we are underway at 1.11 p.m. Eastern Time. That's 12.11 Central Daylight Time. Well, we know that Dave Roberts is kind of the igniter. If he can make some things happen, if he can get on base. And he's had a great history of success against Supon, where he's a protege. Curveball in the dirt. Do the count. Curveball. Look at that. Nicely done by Dave Roberts to get the Padres going his fourth hit of the series. I've always felt that you have to do something in the first one or two pitches if you're a base dealer. You can't just sit over there and and wait for the hitter you know to get deep in the count. You've got to make something happen right away as a base dealer. We want to the win. There, there goes Roberts and that ball is in the left field and look at that it is missed. It was missed by Chris Duncan and Roberts who was getting ready to head back to first instead turns back around and goes to third into second is Walker and what happened there to Chris Duncan he here's Brian Giles so the Padres are in great shape here and Supon conversely a veteran think in those terms well he didn't do it he tried to do it and he hit it right back to Supon and nobody moves up a home runs against Supon in only 17 career at bats he's going to Come that close to the strike zone. Well, here. I think he has to try to get him out because Adrian Gonzalez is up. And you and the one thing about postseason play to me, the more people you put on base, the more chances you have of falling farther behind in the ball game. I think you have Adrian Gonzalez on deck. He's a powerful hitter as well. But he now it is three and like after one of their best hitters is on deck. Just coping. There it is, inside again. Breaking for the plate. Roberts and he is out. The curveball, 24 years old, and they acquired him from the Texas Rangers this past J January. And what a trade it was! He had 24 homers, 82 batted in. And he's an excellent defensive player. Snapped on the first. Look out! He's out. The inning is over. Every couple of weeks, you'd read where Chris Young. Was working on a no hitter into the seventh inning of a game. He, he carried one into the ninth inning in September. He never. And yeah. he has to unwrap as he strikes out Duncan. It takes him a long time, as I said, that for the Cardinals, and that they've had situations where you're just not going to walk Pujols and put him in first, you know, move runners up. And when they pitch to him, he's been able to drive in runs and lead this offense. Ben's on deck. It's sharp to the right, but there's Giles. And back to first goes Eckstein. So, and may win that MVP award. And it would be hard to argue that he shouldn't right. win it, but you could make a lot of compelling arguments for Albert Pujols as well. Well, no one's more valuable to their team than Albert Pujols. But you can. <laughs> there goes Eckstein. The throw down by Piazza. Yes. See, I intentionally wide. You don't see that too often with Scott Rowland. Pujols and Rowlands that you. The teams are really worried about. Wow. He just did. And he got jammed on that fastball. You haven't been able to score anyway. And you two on, two out. And the high slider. And Roland chased it. So Roland obviously would not see the ball well. But they only have to win today. 
That's a base hit down the right field line. And finally, for the first time in three games, somebody comes through in the clutch for the Padres. Scoring is Gonzalez. Cameron's going to be waved home. Now breaking for third is Brannion. It's a weak throw, and he makes it to third. Ronnie Belliard, he might have hit a soft spot out there in the outfield as he tried to make that throw. He gets up slowly and is limping a bit. As he had a clear chance to throw out Brannion going to third. So Brannion knocks in two. The Padres lead two nothing. Well, he slipped. He got a good pitch to hit. A change. This is one of those situations where you say to yourself, I have to keep the ball on the infield if I'm going to pitch to Blum. And Blum's been a tough out over the years for Supon. Fastball. Tagging at third is Brannion. It's medium right field. Then Carnacion. The throw cut off by pool holes and no chance to get Brandon at the plate. And so the job is done by Blum. Three and two third innings, only four hits allowed. And only two guys have had hits. Eckstein's had two singles, and Belliard now with a single and a double. The left-hander, Embry, is going to make Spezio bat right-handed. Embry coming in. Three-nothing Padres. And too low. Two and on. Done through 100 pitches. About only four hits and two walks. And had nine strikeouts. Belliard is his responsibility over at second base. Pio. And it came after him with the heat. 94 mile an hour fastball. Fouled straight back. Taguchi on deck. And the. The rally towels. A blizzard of rally towels. Fastball popped up. Five. He struck him out. As we head to the eighth inning now. Spezio called out. A swing eighth inning guys around. But he's going to be a closer. He's the, uh, the heir to. That was a hanging. Slider deep to left. Gone. A home run. First run of the day for the Cardinals on a home run by a guy who hit two home runs all year. They quit getting guys on base. And that sinker bounced foul tonight. That's yeah. how we end up with a winner. And the base is loaded. He struck him out. Brad Thompson. Fastball is blasted foul deep down the right field line. That's to Jim Edmonds. Shading the eyes from the sun. He's got it. And he was really fighting it too. Out of a stadium. Trevor Hoffman in San Diego. Coming in for the bullpen for the ninth inning in a save situation. Even a little bit better than Mariano Rivera in the regular season. Yeah. Because he's been walked intentionally, struck out, and fly deep to left center. First ball swinging. Cameron shading the eyes with the glove. Two handed catch, one away. Fastball a strike on the outside. And keeping him off balance is what he uses. Slider down to the way. Three to one, the Padres lead. Right to short, nice easy hop. Khalil Green, two down. Two down, nobody on. And Encarnacion takes a strike, an 85 mile an hour fastball. Now, weeks of the season. That is the first changeup, and it's bounced foul off to the left. Roland has actually done well against Trevor. Another changeup, and this ball game is over. The Padres have survived. There will be a game four. And now the Padres will have to decide who their pitcher will be. They had not been telling anybody. Is it going to be Jake Peavy, their game one starter, or Woody Williams, the former Cardinal, the veteran? It will be Chris Carpenter to try and win it for the Cardinals here tomorrow. Well, if the Padres are they got the job done and they need all they need to do is just said before, win one more and then they can get back home at least.